Hello, my name is Natalisa and I decided to make something useful today. Uh, I haven't seen videos explaining how to do reversible bias tape, so I decided to make one myself. Maybe someone really needs it. So, let's go! <laughs> I always loved the idea of reversible clothing, because why wouldn't one be fascinated by the idea of having two items in one? My biggest problem with reversible clothing was always bias tape, because no matter how hard you try, if you sew in it in traditionally, it never looks absolutely perfect. So I had to figure it out how to make it look like this. I'm starting with sewing it in traditionally on a sewing machine, but then I just like um, flip it over and press it nicely to take the shape of the cup of the object that I'm working on. Obviously, it's a corset right here. Yeah. Now it's time to work with your hands. Before I start explaining, I need to apologize for it not being like comprehensive enough because this is actually my first video explaining something ever and English is not really my first language, so it's a little bit hard for me, but I'll try because this is actually a really cool thing to do. So you have to make a stitch on the fabric, like, see, like, like this. Then you have to make a stitch on the bias tape. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky, especially where, it's, where it, there's a curve, but you're getting used to it over time, yeah. And you just keep going like this. You stab the fabric, stab the bias stitch, stab the fabric, stab the bias stitch. And here comes the fun part, you just pull the thread, yay! Here's the closer view on what's actually going on, but I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to record yourself on camera, so uh, sorry for my hands being in the way, but give it a little bit of time and you'll see. Make sure that your thread is parallel, like your stitches need to form this nice straight lines from bias tape to fabric, from fabric to bias tape, because otherwise your bias tape would look a little bit um, unflattering, a little bit curvy or, you know, like uh, wavy on the way out and even ironing won't fix it. Sometimes your thread can stuck or just a little knot might form, but that's okay, that happens. Sometimes it happens and you can just figure it out, untangle it or just cut it and start working in it with a new thread, but don't forget to pull this one nice and tight. And here comes my favorite part. Isn't it satisfying? It is a little bit curvy though, but it's because I'm holding it on my knees. So, yeah. Now 
And here you have the end result. It still needs ironing, but it already looks great. And you can never tell by looking at it that it was hands-on.